The crypto market's going down. We'll cover why I think that it is the case and also some very bullish news from Bonk. Let's dive in. This is the 30th of July, your Solana debrief. Bitcoin down, ETH down, Solana's down quite a bit as well. There's probably uh, some others in the top 100 that have been doing not so well. Jupe's down a little bit, but let's find out why. So the first major reason is the fact that the US government has gone and transferred $2 billion worth of Bitcoin to a new address. It means they could be selling, who knows? The Biden admin administration has decided to troll Trump because troll because Trump basically said, we're going to go and buy Bitcoin until we have a decent amount of the supply and we're not going to sell it for 20 years or something along those lines. So a small bump in the road to Valhalla. Same pump doesn't think that they're actually going to sell. I mean, it would be very silly of them to do so. However, politicians and sillier things. So, you know, maybe they will sell it. I think it's more of an, just a, a screw you to Trump and RFK and their plans. Trader Coz has this post, basically. Putting some bids here. If you want some more Bitcoin, this could be somewhere where you want to put those BTC bids. So we could be seeing a bit of a drop. That's, of course, not financial advice. Now, why has everything kind of gone down? So the first thing is that we, if we have a look at this chart and Alex talks about this, so we're just kind of cruising along. I don't know, we can't see further back, but we're cruising along. Then Trump does a speech and we know, we know that the Bitcoin conference will be a good opportunity to long. We can see that as an expectation. You're not going to go to a BTC conference and say, you guys, you guys are all silly, go and use the US dollar, right? So long, and then it's all just news. The news is out. It's what we will potentially do or what we've said we'll do if we are elected. So then down you go because nothing's happened yet. And that will, of course, bring down the larger markets. Cold-blooded Schiller with Bonk says, simple setup, retesting the significant level in this zone. Meme still the most attractive setups. I know I've said in the past that I'm going to cover more meme coins. But to be honest, we will cover like, like weekly, maybe some. But in general, most of them will, they're just absolutely, they rug, they're rubbish and you're going to lose more money than you make. So we're going to, we're not going to cover it as extensively as I thought, just because you can't win unless you do it full time. Anyway, this is a zone here, which is really cool. It's really cool to see because my research assistant, Tyler, he's just been buying, selling, not back here, but like buy, buy around these areas, sell, buy, sell, buy, buy, sell, just repeating. And it doesn't mean that he's going to get this here or this here. But if he's buying here and then selling here, he's still making thousands. He's been doing well. So you can use this, of course, not financial advice, but you can use this as a little bit of a guide. Now, if it breaks out further and then continues to go, then you're kind of screwed. But if it drops below here, that might be a good time to buy. Now, how he's been doing it personally is taking like Jito Soul. So you take your soul, you stake with validator.com, you move to Jito Soul, I'll show you how to do that in the tutorial. And then you go and flick that into Camino, take out a USC loan if you want, buy that for bonk, hold the bonk, sell it at a profit if it goes up, and then repay the loan. Repeat, repeat, repeat. So this is one strategy that you can think of. Of course, you can just DCA in and just hold it for Valhalla. Now, this is the most exciting news. So new projects for locked bonk holders to vote on. The dog likes the sound of this. So this is bonk.live. Nothing's out yet. It's been made by Soulport Tom and the guys behind Graphite Protocol, which hasn't got a lot of use. However, it has been used a couple of times, but just not a crazy amount of use. And nothing is live yet. So you need to go to Bonk Rewards to go lock up some Bonk so that you can get some uh, voting power in the future. But if we go back to this tweet here and we go to bonk.live, all we're going to see is just have notifications on and let's freaking Bonk. So just so you know, in case you're this is your first cycle, launch pads do exceptionally well. They've done exceptionally well for a couple of cycles. However, if we go back, you know, a couple of cycles ago, they were done inside centralized exchanges. And then last cycle, they were done outside that. Like Radium did very well. And now Jupiter, that does quite well, but they've got more of a transparency meta, which means that we don't have the same pump mentals. And then we've got Bonk.live, which is coming along. Like there's enough projects within a few months, I think that you're going to have a lot of demand to launch. So I like the idea of this. And hence, I i mean, I stake my bonk anyway, but you may want to stake some bonk now. Next bit of news. So today, 3.30 p.m., there will be a chat between Meow and Dijin Jupe Mum. So Dijin Mum is the lady behind um, like SimpDAO back in 2021 and didn't do very well, to be honest. Tracked a lot of liquidity and funds, but it didn't do very well. I don't agree with like simping in any way. Call me old school. But I mean, it has a product market fit. Now she's doing something different. And this is just supposed to try and improve the transparency of 
this kind of PPP meta that Meow is going for. Now, this certainly has product market fit because if we have a look at something like Water and this token's just gone imploded, they launched Bear, Water, and Time. And each token they do, they're still pulling in a massive amount of money. So at present, our major meme coins are just horrendously bad, horrendously bad. So we do need something else. And if there is FUD on something, that's not a bad thing because it brings more attention. You get the people that are bullish and bearish. It just brings more attention. So this will be going on at this time. You're welcome to join if you like. Otherwise, I will give you a bit of an update tomorrow. We have integrated one intros, one decks into Jupyter Routing. So I haven't really heard of this very often. It's kind of made, made its ways into tweets every now and then. But essentially, we've got more sources to route with Jupyter. Infinex is done, at least for the crate run. So you have until tomorrow, or not even tomorrow, midnight tonight, UTC, to open all your crates, and then that's it. And then the next thing they're doing is they're using uh, Athena Labs and in the integration with USD C E, sorry, USDE, which I'm not super familiar with because it's not Lana protocol. I mean, I'm aware of it, but I don't know what the sats are. So I'll have some information on that to, for you tomorrow, but maybe you're familiar with this. Maybe you want to use it. Otherwise, come in here, open your crates, and we'll cover the NFTs in the future. I am very, very bullish on Infinex. People are going to ask, should I withdraw my capital? I don't know. Like, there's nothing to suggest that keeping it there would be beneficial. But I could see that it would be beneficial from like a DAP. You don't want to have a mass exodus of liquidity. However, um, I think we've already seen a little bit of an exodus. So I've got a boost, but it doesn't matter. So nothing that I have is really that important. Uh, 43%. I've got 101 crates and nothing really too epic. But that's completely fine. PYUSD rewards and community have got a massive increase. So like if, you, if you're going to be playing with USDC, if you want some yield on your USDC, put it into PYUSDC and then you just get a massive, you get a massive yield. It's just, it's silly to not do anything else. You don't let it go. Well, not financial advice, of course, but like put it to use, get a good return. The return probably right now is like maybe 20% or something quite high, 20.84%. Otherwise, if you use USDC, it's 11.86. Also, Lulo. I love Lulo and they're doing a whole bunch of new things. And you can also potentially get some Solend. So if you are using Lulo, I don't know which wallet I've got my Lulo in here, but basically um, this will just auto compound for you, right? So you go, where is there? Oh, here we are. You go here, you get started and you deposit PYUSDC or PYUSD, and then you're earning like 25%. You can see all of the decent yields you're getting right now. Some are not so decent, like Drift. It's not doing terribly well. I mean, it's it's low, which is why you want to use, what I'm trying to say is you want to use Lulo because then you get more rewards. Solf has done a thread on the JLP's best strategy. If you want to get into this, and if you don't know how, then follow this. If you're still having difficulty, ping it in the comments. And if there are enough people that are asking, I'll do a tutorial on this. But it's very, very simple. Basically, you can use Camino. Uh, you can use quite a few different platforms. And you can use beast.flash.trade as well. And you can just earn, earn, earn 50%. It's decent. Otherwise, you can go for something very, very simple and just use Camino and just go and park your JLP right here, just like that. And then it just grows in value and you can leverage up if you want. Pathfinders have an NFT mint coming along. Now, Pathfinders is a Solana validator. And of course, I want you to stake with validator.com. We don't have anything like this. I do think in general, you will outperform the market just by staking your soul. But every now and then there's something new that comes along and it's maybe worth your attention. So we probably won't cover this too often unless we get some more news. It would be great if there was something that gave us like a whole lot of information on what this project was in one pinned tweet. That would be amazing as opposed to having to go through a whole lot of stuff on Discord just because I don't think it's worth it for me and my research team. Essentially, FP Lee points it out. So, um, you you get a whitelist if you hold their LST somehow. Don't know how. It's not clear there. And then you can always claim back your soul. So if this ever goes via the if the floor price drops, then you can always just go and burn it and get back your soul. So I imagine what you're doing is you're keeping your soul, but they get the staking rewards. That's how I imagine it would be. But I don't have any. I don't have TLDR. The other thing that I want to mention is any validators out there, Marinade will be doing their boosted APY system in a couple of weeks. So make sure you jump into Discord and you're familiar with all of that and how that works. Next bit of news, and this is very important. We need a social media intern for validator.com. You can go and apply now on superteam.fun. There's one day and 11 hours remaining. So go and do this. You can read through it here, but essentially we do need someone that's 
got some skills when it comes to memes and creating stuff and wants a full-time position. Full-time job, you're going to learn a lot. You've got to join Twitter spaces. You'll be paid basically to learn and just level up and perfect your craft of being uh, really good on social media. I also need an all-round crypto intern for myself, just helping out with some Twitter stuff, YouTube stuff. Once again, you'll learn plenty from me, but read through this and go and apply here. Now your actionables. Check all your wallets with airdrop.link. I've got a video on it. It is the best video and they're working on it so that you should be able to see which wallets have actually claimed it already. There was a small issue. I'm unsure if it's been fixed yet, but they're working very well. You need to do this by tomorrow, 3 p.m. UTC. Otherwise, you cannot claim your dupe. So all of your wallets, go make a massive list. Watch that video. This is, your, this is the best actionable. You've probably got like $200 of worth of dupe because it's like a dollar and seven cents. You've probably got at least one wallet with 200 dupe that you just forgot about. Some random wallet seed that you use for stepping or, or something like that. I'm certain of it. If you don't claim, you lose it. That's it. Like warning's been got, done. Open your Infinix crates before July 31st. There's also a poker tournament tomorrow, 7 a.m. at UTC to win one patron NFT. Join the Discord. Attend dupe's community audit, 3.30 p.m. UTC today. Follow and turn on notifications for live bonk so we can see that. And then airdrop actionables. You may want to have a look at Cloud INF's Meteor LP, LP pool. I'm still on that, earning some met points. I mentioned this yesterday. Drop your EVM address under Simon's cat meme, or I mentioned a few days ago, but I'm still keeping an eye on that. Also, cube.exchange. I know I need to do uh, a tutorial here. I'll work on that. Complete the quests, stake your bonk with bonk rewards, and potentially stake some soul with pass, path soul for the NFT mint. But most importantly, of course, just stake your soul with fellowslater.com. I will have another video coming out today on Golfin, by the way. So watch that when that's released as well. Catch you tomorrow.